Hey, what's going on? You? Huh? She's over. Oh, what? No, I'm just. She'll be alright. Yeah, she will. I'm alright. What's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's weekend. Congratulations to anybody that got engaged over the weekend. Uh, Lady Gaga made sure she put it on Twitter today that, you know, she got engaged to Taylor Kennedy. So, congratulations to Gaga. And again, congratulations to anyone that got engaged over the weekend. And if you did get engaged, let us know. I want to see the picture so we can put it on the next video. And don't be using no pictures from a couple years ago. I'm talking about this year, 2015. Um, as you guys know, I was away. I went to New Orleans last Wednesday. I came back yesterday. First of all, y'all already know how emotional I get, and I ain't got to look to my right because I know Mikel just—he's just gonna his face is just gonna change. No, but New Orleans was such a great trip, and I want to give a shout out to Daniel because um, you know I met him four years ago. He told me he was from New Orleans. And, you know, ever since then, like, he's been teaching me so much about New Orleans, their culture, their history, the food. You know, he's been teaching me about all of that stuff. And I got to say something to you real quick. Mm -hmm. Lies. Yeah. So, <laughs> make sure we... Okay. You, you true. <laughs> no, because I'm going to no, go there. You know what? <laughs> He's so worried about getting home to see Beyonce. No, and I'm gonna watch it here, bitch, because I ain't gonna make it home. You make it watch. No, I won't. It's gonna be here. <laughs> bitch, I'm watching Book of Negroes at I'm watching it downstairs. I don't give a fuck what your mom is watching. Well, she Because she's opening the show, so I'll have to see Oh, 8 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Right. <laughs> but make sure y'all watch Book of Negroes, too, because it's, it's a new miniseries coming on BET about um, these slate. Let me get it right, because I was watching The View this morning. About, bitch, listen, it's about slaves that was in England. I can't remember the whole premise, mm -hmm. but it's good, okay? It got Louis Gossett Jr. in it, and Andrew New Ellis in it, who's always, like, every time I see her, they always got her playing looking, like, you know, I'm not going to go there. But yeah. watch Book of Negroes. Is it coming on tonight? Coming on tonight at 8. And if you miss it at 8, they show the repeat, the repeat at 10 o'clock. I think it's when they're going to show it all week. I'm not sure. But... We got to watch that and support our people, um, especially during Black History Month. And um, it was, yeah, that, that, that was what I was going to say. But back to New Orleans, like he's been, you know, teaching me about everything and, you know, trying to get me to come all the time. Y'all know I went, um, two years ago, I went for Mardi Gras. And he was like, you got to come back next year and go to the Zulu Ball. It's very nice. It's very, it's a formal event. All the men come dressed up. All the women wear gowns and everything. And I'm like, where do they have the Zulu ball at? It's held in the New Orleans Convention Center. And it it's is a nice. uh, bitch. <laughs> their, their convention center rivals our convention center. Because they know how to do it. They know yes, how to do it. They don't have parties like Mardi Gras and Zulu balls up here. No. So they got to make sure they got that big space. Yes. Which I think is great for New Orleans because it brings a lot of money to their city every That's time they right. have it. That's right. It had to be about maybe 5,000 people. Oh, you see? All dressed up. Looking nice. Yes, looking nice. And like at first I wasn't too hyped to go. I'm like, I ain't going No. But then like he was like, when he came, remember when I went to Atlanta, it was like right after my birthday. He drove all the way from New Orleans. New Orleans to Atlanta to hang out with me and stuff. And I just was like, that's the least I could do. I can at least go to the Zulu Ball this year. So I went this year and I had a effing blast okay first of all um the zulu is this um social aid and pleasure club you know kind of like how we have our motorcycle games mm -hmm. they have their groups where they you know go out and help people and donate money mm -hmm. and you know they all have they had their own clubs and stuff like that but this the zulu must be a big ass organization mm -hmm. because it's their members and friends like who they buy i believe who they buy the tickets from tickets tick the table were fifteen hundred dollars so you know for each person you spend like a hundred and fifty dollars to get a ticket to go and you bring your own food you bring your own drinks and you know you oh wait so they don't have the catered event you gotta bring food not unless you order catered food but you oh, can... i would have to go to see how that set, how yes. that looks because that don't sound right you set your own table up okay in my suit and your suit 
Somebody got to set it up. When we got there, the food was already there. I just bought some. Well, I want that kind of table when I get there because yeah. I want set nothing up in my suit. Our table was already done up because um, 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 Daniel's uncle was a member of Zulu. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the family was around the table. I met Daniel's mom. It was her 55th well, birthday. Nice. She was nice. You know, of course, she wanted to know how I met Daniel and how I'm enjoying myself and everything. Don't do that. You know, she wanted to look because she was like, I, I remember how you met him too. I but yeah, you, she was like, I met Daniel in Dominican Republic. I remember, I, I remember, that. I remember exactly when I met him. It was around 8 o'clock. It was a Friday night. That's and I know I'm just saying because I remember because I was really over Brandon. Okay. I was over Brandon the whole situation. But you situation. don't have to tell the story. I'm just, just telling. You're just saying how you, we know yeah. you met him in Dominican so, Republic. Yeah. So back to the Zulu ball. Don't do it, bitch. Don't do back it. To Try to rush me to that, bitch. Don't do it. I'm just saying, I didn't know how you met him. Yeah, so I met him at Dominican Republic. Right, so we met him in Dominican Republic. Bam. <laughs> so the Zulu ball, so you know I'm there. And I'm like, now I don't know his people like that. So I can't turn up like that. Right. But after a while, the drink started flowing. Right. You know, I was enjoying myself, and something that I don't know about New Orleans is the second line music, and I don't know the bounce music and stuff, mm -hmm. but let me tell you one motherfucking thing. Our people in New Orleans know how to fucking party, okay? Yeah. You had the young people and the old people. Bitch, you hear one horn go off, <laughs> and that whole fucking building went off. They know how to fucking party. Okay. You know, we too busy looking at each other. I don't know that bitch from no, there. Stand on the wall. Oh, no. I party. You hear that burn, 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 and Crazy Love come on, oh, bitch. and everybody go off. Bitch, no. And Everybody's not going to go off. Well, there's only one Beyonce. Well, no. And I'm going to shoot you. Bitch, they went off. So yeah. Ronald Osley, Ronald Osley performed with his brothers. They killed it. Ronald was up there for an album and a half. I'm like, Ronald, I know it's past your bedtime. <laughs> but he was up there jamming. He didn't care. He was up there jamming. He had his son up there. And he had his wife. Remember the, remember the J.S. So that sang that song, Ice Cream? He married one of the girls, so she's his backup singer, and she was helping him sing some of the songs. So it was all a family event up there, and he had Ronald had them the girls going off, and then um, at the helm, you know, Fantasia they introduced Fantasia. Then it was like, oh no, uh, Fantasia needs about ten minutes, <laughs> and I said, okay, well, <laughs> Fantasia. So <laughs> right. she's not more time. She's not more time anyway. I mean, like she's getting Beyonce for me. You rocked it. But baby, no, be on time. when Fantasia came out, the girls went off. Mm -hmm. and Fantasia, she, and she went off too. Yeah, she was up there a good hour, and I mean a good hour, a good hour, a good hour. And I thought she was gonna kick her shoes off in the first ten minutes. She uh she got them off for a good while. Of course, <laughs> of course she came out. Of it. As soon as I said she she took them off, she ain't have. There's like oh no she ain't take them off yet. As soon as I said that, then the shoes came off. She just went off. She sang, y'all know she sang all of her stuff. And I was just going in. I didn't care if they didn't see me singing and stuff. I was going in. Fantasia uh, did the thing. Like, come on, she never has a bad performance. And after she performed, Juvenile performed. While Juvenile was performing, bitch, the lights came on because it was 4 o'clock in the morning. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. We all walking out yeah. of that. Oh, hell no, they wasn't walking out. <laughs> them mother... <laughs> them girls was in there shaking they... In the game. In the game. They don't, they don't, some of the girls in the game was dirty and shit because... No, but listen. Because they went in these long I'm not wearing they, no long gowns to no ball. They went in these long gowns. <laughs> and you got all these people in there stepping right. on the track. Right. I'm oh, like, oh, you want? No, because if I pay, if I paid all that money, but you think I'm going to let you? And then, um, then one of the girls, like, um, she didn't even, somebody told me, she's like, she didn't even say, excuse me. <laughs> and the proper way is to walk and fold your dress up. And that is the proper way, not yeah. just walk. You know, one thing. Even I, I know that. Yes. And one thing I was trying not to do, I wasn't trying to get in the altercation with nobody. Especially those motherfuckers down there crazy and they shit, shit. They shoot. And, and, shoot. and it's just you? Yeah, well, <laughs> then you. Well, but I'm just saying. Yeah. They ain't from there. Oh, yeah. You ain't from there. Yeah, I'm not. 
But I learned a lot of songs, and I learned, I just learned about the culture, but for me to take that and to somebody from being an out-of-towner, uh -huh. to see them go off, it was just so good to see, to be somewhere where you're not used to, and just mm -hmm. to get into it. Like, um, I you went to the club, I wasn't familiar with it. I bitch, I, when the club was closing on Friday, Saturday night, you know how... Uh, Bill Cosby have his little the horns and all mm -hmm. of that stuff as struggle. Oh, I'm like, are they playing the fucking Cosby thing? So yeah. they was like, <laughs> yeah, <it's still> <laughs> They like, like no. He probably like big Bill Cosby. It was like Kevin. This is the second line, son. I don't know if it's the second line, the third line, or the fourth line. I don't know. No, but the kids, they everybody like the bands. Like I went, of course I went to the parades. You gotta come on there. See. <laughs> But y'all be thinking like, I don't want to be sitting there catching bees. I caught all these damn bees. Of course, I got more. <laughs> but like each band and stuff, I learned that they be don't each, not band, each crew, and they spell crew, K-R-E-W-E. They be throwing out different stuff and the kids was going crazy. The adults was going crazy. You want the balls that light up. Um, they was throwing footballs. They was throwing... Uh, they was giving out the. I wanted the real big, big balls. I wanted the real big balls to bring home, but I couldn't. But I met this guy named O'Keefe in the club, and he had. And I already showed you what he gave me, but I ain't putting it on YouTube because I don't need y'all flag my fucking video. Did he have big balls? I don't know what he had, <laughs> but if anybody came to me with that, that I had on my shoulder, that's a done deal. We not. I'm not going there. But. Came with you. New Orleans as a whole was fun, and I, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to remember these names: O'Keefe, Mike, Mikel, Ray, David. Can't remember who else, because that night, first of all, let me tell you how you ever meet somebody for the first time, like you cool with somebody, and they bring somebody along for the ride with you, and they cool at first, mm -hmm. bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm in New Orleans. First of all, I know I know my limits, and I ain't getting fucked up down here. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Baby, when I tell you he fucked that bar up, he went at it, and I was like, Daniel, you that's your friend. I I ain't touching that. I ain't climbing nobody there because mm -hmm. I, I don't know. And he might really not like me. Okay. And like, bitch, don't you ever? Yeah, yeah, baby. And then he's drunk and you sober. He went. Oh no, I. I I, I started my drink, but I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, that's not my type of tip. Mm -mm. But other than that, it was fun. The parades were fun. I went to the Endymion Parade. There was some parade on um, Bourbon Street. It was just fun. Daniel, thank you so much. And, of course, I'm going to try to bring as many people for next year, and I'm going to be there for the actual Mardi Gras next year. Hopefully you can come. I'm going to take, I'm taking that week off for Mardi Gras. Taking and it off from where? For Mardi Gras. For so next I'm taking year. it off. Next year. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's if I'm even still doing these videos. Who knows? Oh, That's I'll take it off from the video. Yeah. Oh, I'll do so much a job. Oh, bitch. <laughs> oh, Shit, I recorded some stuff, but I. <laughs> well, who? I hope no. You too. You tried <laughs> it. Because you know. <laughs> so let's get, a, let's get into what's happening this weekend. No, I'm just saying. You really try. <laughs> and let me tell you, some of them boys, some of them boys just be looking crazy. They're like, yeah, I know how you don't really Listen. like it down here like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's, 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 that's something, southern slang. And I ain't talking about words. <laughs> southern slang. That's an angle to this look too far, bitch. Say <laughs> so, no. Okay. You ain't slamming the bike down there? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married. This ain't nothing about that. <laughs> but I ain't, going down there. I ain't going down there for that bitch. I'm going down there to have fun. <laughs> well, that's a part of, be quiet, Ooh, Mikhail, shut. That's a part of private fun. <laughs> now, unless they like to join that. <laughs> and some friends do it. So, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Woo! <laughs> Baby! And yes, this shirt is very tiny. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> and, yeah, and yes, my mom my cried shirt. when I brought, I brought her home some more masks. Oh my God. I'm glad she didn't cry me steps this year in the cry. Maybe me. she came up here and cried that night? Yes. Yeah. So, so let's talk about, um, 
I want to I want to get this out the way. I'm tired of Azealia Banks. Okay, I am so tired of this girl. I am ready to delete her off my iTunes. Like I feel bad that I bought her album. Like this bitch don't. See, so here we go. Oh, with that word. That girl. <laughs> what you say? Because you saw they got me. Watch what you say. That girl. She got more fans than you think. <laughs> oh, yeah, she got fans, but that girl is crazy. Like, you think that I'm going to take your side over Erica Badu? If someone asked Eric, so what happened was, mind you, this happened a couple days ago, um, before, before Azealia even knew what happened. Um, they tweeted Erica Badu. They was like, you know, I'm just curious. What did what did what do you think of Azealia Banks music? And she said she just replied like, try, meaning like I tried, but you know it's not my cup of tea, right. basically. So Azealia Banks. Oh, I don't know why. Um, why she don't like my music? It might be because she jealous or some shit. Paraphrasing y'all for y'all. Yeah, she said jealous. You know, she, jealous. She, she retweeted her and said jealous. She and said, um. Yeah. You know, so when, you know, Erica Badu tweeted her back and was like, well, shit, bitch, I fucking tried. Right. And then she turned her location on. Yeah, I saw so that. Like, yeah, I saw that. Now, this is where I'm at. Because I know you're here. Yeah. Because you ain't got nowhere else to go. Okay. Like, so, so, um, so Azalea Banks, you know, she goes on to this thing. I don't know why these girls trying to come for my spirit and why the old people um so threatened by the, the the new people and all of this stuff so you know erica about do like are you okay and then she <laughs> talking yeah about, right are you okay so she so you know azalea tweeting all this stuff um i don't um go back and forth with people that don't shave their underarms and she was just saying all of this you know negative stuff yeah. yeah unnecessary and negative stuff to Erica Badu. But see, Azealia, this is, see, I think I've been telling you this for three fucking years. This is why you're still stuck on Twitter and nobody's into your music like that because you keep fighting with people. And the only way you are relevant is because you pick fights with people. Now, just because something isn't someone else's cup of tea, that doesn't mean that bitch they hating and they jealous. First of all, we're talking about Erica by fucking do, okay? She probably got like six albums under her belt, four Grammys on her fucking uh, trophy cakes, and she's worrying about a bitch from Harlem named Azealia Banks. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm jealous of that. I'm Erica Badu, and I'm jealous. And I got hit at the head to hit on the radio. And Erica Badu ain't never been jealous of another girl from the Neo Soul world. You know, oh, she taking my spot. Ain't nobody taking your spot. Make your own spot, okay? You, like, you and this uh, Iggy, Iggy thing, that shit is old and tired, okay? Iggy took, took some stuff, all right, now create your own. Make your own lane. Make your own noise. Stop worrying about what another bitch doing. That's the problem. People be worrying about other people too much. Make your own lane. Carve your own shit out. Do something. Get on somebody's stage. Show why more people should be buying your album. Okay? I don't see no music videos. I haven't seen what stage you've been on or what show you're performing on or anything. Anything I hear from you is you running your mouth from your phone on Twitter or fire behind your computer. From your phone. I know that's right. So I'm tired of it. Well, it would say desktop she was on the computer. Right? Who? It would say desktop. So she's not on the computer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She wants something. Because <laughs> so she's just thinking everybody is against her. That girl is crazy. She is really crazy. And, like, we, I tried to like her. But she's crazy. I tried to buy her music. I don't listen to it. Like, I'm just don't, I just don't want to be associated she with anybody things. like that. I like her. Some I, of I mean, it. I love when she went on on. Uh, T.I. and them because she spoke mm -hmm. the truth mm -hmm. on that video. She really did. Now, I don't know if Tiny but, can't read. Yeah, I don't know if she can't read either, but I mean, it would be quiet. Look out. But what I will say is is that she definitely, you know, she, I mean, I thought as though she spoke the truth in that particular video. Now I could picture T.I. being like that. Though. Yeah, really? yeah, I could picture it too. <laughs> and, you know, I, I felt her pain in that video. Mm -hmm. But then that doesn't mean that the next video or the next thing she says, I'm going to agree with. Because yeah. I definitely don't agree with all this other stuff she's saying. Y'all already know I don't agree with that whole, you know. Yeah, I just feel as though she just went, 
She yeah. just went totally left. I feel as though she had a point. To, she had something to say, but she took it to where you'd be like, "Why are you going there?" But hey, you know. But she just is one of those people, like you said. The only time, the only time you ever hear from her is when she's arguing with somebody. You never hear her name being nominated for anything, or if it was, it was in the past. It's not in the present. You know, you don't hear anybody else talking about her, uh, celebrity-wise. You know, they just don't. Yeah. It's like, sad because she's very talented. Shout out to Zillia and that's the crazy thing. She's talented. I can see if she was not talented, but she is talented. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't even put an effort to make sure that we know her more than just social yeah. media. But, you know, she doesn't do that. But when you think about it, though, this girl has fought from everybody. She's tweeted about Gaga. She's tweeted about Beyonce. She's tweeted about... Um, um, Perez Hilton. She now she's fighting with Erica Badu. Of course, she tweets with Iggy Azalea. Um, that girl just argue with everybody. She didn't have like thirty fucking Twitter fights in three years, and that's just not a good look. No, because she's not going to be looked at as a. She's I'm not, not going to take you serious. All. You know, I'm not going to take you serious. Once she makes it, God willing, makes it, makes it, she's not going to be welcomed at all by the industry because people are going to look at her and like, no, I don't want to work with you because you said something about so-and-so and I'm working on so-and-so's new album and I don't want them looking at me. To, and like, That's just how the industry is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just how it is. And so Azalea needs to learn how to keep her mouth shut. She really does because not everything, everything that you, everything that you think doesn't need to be said. Like this woman, um, I'm not going to go there because it just makes go me there. even more... No, go I there, can't Kelly. Go, go there. I can't, I can't go there, but it made me very upset yesterday at church. And this woman said something out of line at church. And it made me and a lot of other people at church upset. And then my pastor, he made dinner last night. So we were at his house and we were just talking about it. And he was so upset, you know, that she said what she said too. And it was like, just because you feel as though everybody agrees with what you said does not make it okay to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't mean that you should say it out loud. Like, you just don't do stuff like that. Was it an opinion? She had an opinion about She had an opinion about someone, and it wasn't called for it. Like, what she said was, I mean, I, 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 I agree with what she said, but standing up and giving a, black, yeah, giving a Black History Month speech in church and then saying something like that was not appropriate. Uh -huh. And so she didn't like the fact that nobody laughed at what she said. We all, And then she's going to she say, oh, don't be like that, because you know I just said what y'all was thinking. And I looked at, and, and not nah, I looked. But we all was just sitting there. And I said, please, come on, just carry on, just carry on, like that. So then the deacon sitting in front of me, he says something, and she said, well, don't let me do this, let me do this. Don't, don't try to interrupt me, because she was upset, because she didn't get the reaction that she wanted. And then she tried to lash out on the deacon. But we all were sitting there like, that's not funny, and don't say stuff like that. But thank God it wasn't a lot of people in church yesterday, because it was one degree it's outside. Okay. There wasn't nobody going to church. <laughs> huh. But us. That's like Carol Paisley gonna get up and say, Do we have any visitors? <laughs> Carol, you know we ain't got no damn visitors in here. It's about 15 of us sitting in this damn room. You told us, Do we have any visitors? Go sit down. Then she will come up to me and say, You laughing at me for talking fast. <laughs> no, I'm laughing at you because you got the hell up and said, Do we have any visitors in this empty ass room? But not one single visitor in here. Oh. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. That made speaking, me mad. <laughs> speaking of visitors. I had to give my girl Ashley Shaw Miller from Twitter and YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. Y'all know that's my girl. Bitch, you, I watched her new video, right? Mm -hmm. You remember how when we first met Tamar and Vince, how mm -hmm. we came back and we was just mm -hmm. excited about everything. Mm -hmm. Well, baby, I'm listening. Ashley Miller mm -hmm. got flown out to Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. Stay in... A hotel called the Peninsula. Oh, that's uh, a really nice hotel. A uh, fab ass hotel. Guess yeah. about who? Ooh. Tyler motherfucking Perry. Ashley! Bitch, you better do that, okay? Tyler Perry! Let me tell you something. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. Let me tell you something. Y'all better be listening out there. They are watching the folks on YouTube. Yes, they are. Yes. Yes, they are. Y'all better pay attention. He flew her out there, mind you. Oh, that's right, Ashley. You better get that. To, to the hotel, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I wonder is, what's going on. Like, you know, is, is, is he going to, you know, mm -hmm. do a deal with her or something? Bitch, Tyler invited her to his house. And not only that, she was invited to a party. Bitch, you partying with Oprah Winfrey. Oh, Oprah was there. Yes. Iyala Van Zandt. Yeah. Debbie Allen. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, you know, Tamar and Vince was there. Mm -hmm. It was just a who's who of celebrities. Kind of reminded me of 
the Golden Life Party. Like, like, as I'm like, everything golden life party. The, for Vince. Oh. Number, <laughs> bitch, you getting old. Yeah. I, it was just like, I was just so happy for her. And I'm just like, I'm listening to everything she's saying. And I'm mm. taking it in like, you know, damn, this, I remember this. I remember this. Like, I'm really happy for you, Ashley. And congratulations to you. Like, did she say why Tyler Perry did all that? Because he be watching her videos. It's oh. all the have and the have nots and stuff. Oh, so they show she does the, the whole team. The, the whole team, oh. you know, knows what's going on. And it again, like it all just reminded me of because the whole team, like it just. So let Ashley, me, do your thing, baby. Let girl. me tell you something, Ashley. We've been there, so we know what it is that you're going through right now. How excited you are, okay? And to anybody who's watching this and who watches Ashley. You see, it does happen. They really do watch yeah. us. Tyler Perry's watching her. Everybody, you know, other people are watching us. You just never know. My mom used to always tell me, you never, because this is, but she used to always say it in a sense when I'm getting, doing shit that I ain't supposed to be doing. <laughs> My mom used to always say, you never know who's watching you. Mm -hmm. You never know who's watching you. That's right. You just never know. You know, and I mean, sometimes we go off on people and we say stuff about people, but I mean, that's our opinion and we, you know, we, we say what it is, we, it is what it is. You know, I'll never forget that day when Beyonce said to me, you and your friend be going in on people. You just never know. I wish I was there. They record all the stuff Beyonce did and they didn't record that yeah, part. She told me. Yes, you and your friend be going in on people and I looked at her and I was just like, bitch. <laughs> You better know, okay? Mm -hmm. That day when Lady Gaga was reciting that video that you did, that okay. one video review, I mean, Lady Gaga actually knew a video. I was surprised. Know? Like, these people actually be watching. Right. So, Ashley, we know exactly what it yes. is that you're going through and how you feel. And congrats to that, because you know what? Bitch is going... Let me tell you something, Ashley. This is the beginning of the haters, okay? <laughs> They're going to hate on you, okay? She was talking about that in the video. Tyler right. was like, don't let nobody... Yeah, because this is true. Let me tell you. you know? Hey, don't let them steal it, because they will try to steal it. Let me tell you something. After six years, they've been still trying to steal my joy. But you can't even steal my edges, so how you going to steal my joy? <laughs> I ain't even got no edges. You can't steal nothing from me, baby, okay? Because I'm covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't let bitch. me go in, bitch, because I will go in. You know what? That sounds like another new shirt. And you know what? We need some uh if you do like graphic designing please hit me up because i i need we need some new designs for our store our store our store okay also um so yeah ashley you just keep doing your damn thing yes congratulations again and uh, i want y'all to watch that video it's an hour long but it was a good video and um uh chloe Card <laughs> chloe kardashian and amber rose got into it today I mean, first of all, it's too fucking cold outside for this, but I guess where they at, the weather's fab. Because mm -hmm. one is in Trinidad and the other one most likely is in California. But, you know, for me, I'm like, they're giving me everything I need because I need some sort of in entertainment in 15 degree weather. So, basically, this stems from um, a video that Amber Rose did with The Breakfast Club that aired on Friday. And... Amber Rose was there to talk about, you know, she talked about what's going on with Wiz, and I do feel bad for her. Like, she's like, I'm just waiting for him to come home. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. Now I'm tired she's of waiting. She's basically saying he left her. Yeah. And she said they had times where he would text her and be like, I'm coming. She never came. She's like, bitch, I'm not going to wait no more. And oh, wait, she well, just, after they split up, I got to see yeah. this on. She talked about so much like he done cheated, you know. But she was willing to forgive him, but bitch, you ain't gonna keep cheating on him. Let me tell you something, but let, you know, let me just say this. With even with somebody like Amber Rose, who is beautiful and has a body out this world, somebody in Wiz, Wiz Khalifa's position who is a well-known actor, famous, and gets Regina thrown at him left and right. You mean ra rapper? Rapper. What did I say? Actor. Actor, <laughs> rapper. What is going on? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, well, he's acting like a rapper. But no, I'm, I'm mm. joking, he's a rapper. Um, but somebody like him, he's getting all that stuff thrown at him. Can you, I, I just, I just don't, I can't imagine even if he has an Amber Rose at home that he's going to be faithful to that. No, when he got all these other women throwing themselves at him. Guys are dogs and they're going, dogs will get that bone if it's being thrown at them. They will catch it. And so he's catching it. So, I mean, and then Wiz Khalifa's young yeah, and he's hot right now. And it's like. Can you really, ex I, I just, I, I never can understand when these famous guys, especially young ones, get married to these females, and these females act so shocked when they turn around and cheat on them. Mm -hmm. You're shocked? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had people cheat on me and they weren't even famous. Because be, people look at it from like, you know, 
Oh, well, cheating on Amber Rose, yo? Yeah. Like, you know, that's every man's dream. But well, Kanye man. cheated on her. Listen, I don't know what went on, but she... Well, she told it to Wendy. She said, look, I found pictures of Kim in, in his phone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She ain't nobody about that. For what? No. Because <laughs> she, they talk, they, they hinted on it, but I uh -huh. forgot about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. No, I didn't forget that. Because Kim's still my girl. <laughs> yeah, she went on Wendy Williams. Well, right, 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 wrong. Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah, I was finding pictures of her. And she was sending it to him in his phone. Yeah. And I, I think she said she even said something to her, called her and said something to her like that. And I think she either Kim like tried to downplay it or didn't answer something real stupid she said. But you know, it is what it is. Mm. It happens. Mm. You can be the baddest bitch in the world. And a nigga, if he has somebody else with a fat ass throwing at him, he's gonna look because nobody is above they, being cheated. They thinking guys are thinking with that downstairs. They ain't thinking with this or this. They thinking with that. Once they see a fat ass and it gets them hard, they run them right after. Yeah, and then and then some of the girls are just fucking stupid. Like I seen something on media takeout that said girls sucking dick for likes, retweets, and something else. But that's what it seemed like is going on because they are doing it. it's like not okay, you cheated on somebody. Now, I done. But see, the girls know not to go there. Yeah, don't go there. you can get your life. Then yeah. somebody will kill you of you airing that out yeah. about another man. Yeah, but there's guys who do that too. Yeah, I'm not. They just keep it on the DL. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Because I'm not stupid that level. Can you imagine the stories that some stylists have? First of all, I have too many <laughs> likes to be worried about getting on my knees and back with more likes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> and people wonder uh, why I don't do shout outs. For what? I don't need to be shouting oh. nobody the hell out. Ooh. That's going too personal. I'm going to take some. Yeah, out. you take that out. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're back. <laughs> so Chloe got a whip up the end. First of all, we didn't even go back to Amber. Shit. <laughs> what did we don't talk about Amber? being supportive. <clears throat> so Chloe, yes, but Chloe got a whip up the interview because during the interview, Amber Rose was saying that, you know, I think that. She didn't mind you. She never came for Chloe. No. What she said, not Chloe. She Kylie. never came for she Kylie. She never said Kate. That's... <laughs> she said a seventeen-year-old needs to be in bed at seven. <laughs> now, bitch, was seventeen. You know, want to be in at seven, more like eleven. Well, the point that she was making yeah. is, you're too you're young, too young, to young. Be following this man. Yes, and that's and you know that's gross, and that, you know it basically speaks on the character of who he is. Right. That's what she was. She's not even of age yet. It's like you left your what? Your girlfriend, a beautiful girl, mind you, to be, and your son to, to be child. with an underage girl. Right. So this is my thing. So you know, when can I, I just say something real quick? Yeah. And for those people out there who are saying, but Jay Z and Jay Z's older than Beyonce. Yeah, but right. when Jay Z and Beyonce started dating, Beyonce was of age. Yeah, she was, yeah, she was grown. <laughs> Kylie Jenner is not grown. She ain't even legal to drink. No, or legal to, to say to I want to fuck. Yes, she's not legal to say that. <laughs> If she was 18, it wouldn't matter. Right. But it's because, yes, she said, Mike, she said, you, it's wrong that you date somebody that's 16 that just turned 17. Basically, she's still saying you ain't living enough, bitch, to be 17. Right. You still 16. Oh, yeah, Hello? <laughs> In North Philly. Why? What's the matter? Oh, no. I'll be, yeah, all right. <laughs> she wants me to stop somewhere that's closer to my house where you can go around there and stop there, you damn son. <laughs> well, figure while, while, while my son on his way home, you need to stop and go get something. Yeah. So. Don't interrupt me and ask me where am I at. And how long you gonna be? Well, I'm grown, so as long as I'm <laughs> flipping. I can't say that to my mom, but that's ah. what I'm thinking. I'm oh, playing. yeah. <laughs> she don't play. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to? So and you wouldn't see me next week. <laughs> oh, we'd be at your funeral. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ain't so, that wrong, bitch. <laughs> so, so Chloe got a whiff of the conversation, and Chloe started. You know, I can. I know you got the tweet. Somebody pulled it up on Instagram. Somebody got the damn tweets. Chloe basically said something about you worried about my sister, this, that, and the third, but you were stripping at 15. You was home being a whore at 15. You know, this, that, and the third. And Amber Rose responded, yes, you know, I was at 15, I was stripping, taking care of my family, you know, just like your sister was whoring around taking care of her family. Mm -hmm. 
Amber, listen, Amber Rose was just basically going and went in the city. The thing is, Chloe, you thought you was defending one sister, and then you ended up defending back another. Yeah, because it backfired on your ass. It backfired on your way. sister. And then people kept pulling up all of these receipts on uh, Chloe saying how wrong it was that she was 18. No, that she was 14 dating somebody 18, and that was gross, and that she'll never do it again. And then they had the pictures of them teaching uh Kylie how to fucking slide down. Oh yeah, remember when I saw that. I don't even that, remember. That wasn't even a picture, it was a video. video. yeah. And they were sitting there smiling. Kim was sitting there and I couldn't think of who the other yes. sister was, but it wasn't Chloe? It was I don't, I don't know, know which was, sister. I, look, whatever your sister was. She was too young and I wish she was all up the and Vince was getting it down on the pole. I can't even do a spin on the pole. And you up there, you had your leg your arms in between your legs and you were sliding down some other kind of way. And you know, that you know, I, that ain't I don't have no words for that. It's just wrong. And somebody was like, well, Kevin, what you said on your video before about being... When I was 16, bitch, I thought I was grown. This girl thought she was grown. And a lot of young people do because they think that they grow. I think Kylie, Kylie is walking around these designer clothes with her hair pressed out on these high heels and people... And her lips look, done. Yeah, her lips done. And so people are assuming that she's grown. Mm -hmm. But she's actually only 17. I and guess I was what? 17. There were some places I can go and there were some places I couldn't go and some things I could do and some things I couldn't do. And some people I could date and some others I couldn't date. But that was the way of the world. But, you know, some people, other people do things in their houses a little bit different yes. than, you know. Yeah, but you know what, though? What it makes what makes it funny is, <laughs> it's not even just that. It makes people look at what kind of mother is Kris Jenner to let her child knowingly date someone that old. Chris Jenner, and then the mother is Bruce Jenner. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come down. Yeah, both, both of them. I ain't gonna. But see, the mother, the one that she had the more sense. But the, because that's the mother. You mother, huh? <laughs> you said the mother, the father is one of the sisters' name. What did you say? You twisted. Right. Right. <laughs> Bitch. No, because I'm trying to get I my point. I said Bruce Jenner. <laughs> both of them. Both of them. What you say? Trying to be in the Wait, right here. <laughs> Wait. Make sure you say it right now. Yes, I know I'm saying. So then it's like, I'm not mad at Kylie. Because Kylie, when you're young, you want the right, fuck you, you want. want. And he but see, thing yeah, but it also speaks on Tiger's character. Because you're 25. Your brain <laughs> is different than someone that's 17. Y'all don't have anything in fucking common, okay? Except for money. And I would say, Except yeah, but money. it's not even her money. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't model and she's gonna make her I thought, own money. I thought the other two No, I think both of them doing the model. I thought thing. what the other sister was doing it. Well, I don't but know. see the thing is I can't tell you done fucking know. quit high school. So you don't even have a high school diploma. And you twenty five and you want someone that don't even have a diploma? And you got a mom they and they probably a don't have one. Listen, it's stupid. Probably, so I don't know. I don't know. But it's stupid. It's stupid. And then y'all and then then y'all keep trying to defend what's going on. Ain't no 25 and no 17 year old gonna be hanging out all the time like that in the intimate settings like that. Mom, Come on, man, oh, use I your fucking see, brain. I can see Marcy and Mike now. Why do you want to be with somebody who's 25? <laughs> no, it ain't even why you want to be. It's you're not going to be. Because you still live in the market at 17 and you walking around with a 25 year old, but that's just the power of money. That's the power mm -hmm. of money. And people are looking at Kylie, like I said, she's walking around like she's a 25-year-old. So in their head, they're looking at her as she's a 25-year-old. But Amber Rose didn't say anything wrong about Kylie Jenner. What she said was right. Mm -hmm. You're too young to be walking around with this man. I think most of her shade was towards Tiger. Tiger. It wasn't towards her, but Chloe jumped in defense. Why would you jump in defense when Amber, what she said was true? Why is your 17-year-old mm -hmm. sister roaming around with a 25-year-old man? That's not even, and first of all, it's not even legal in this country. That's not even legal. You have to be 18, don't you? Mm, I, it might be in California. Well, yeah, again, you, you might be right. You might be right. And you know what I learned? That's why, you know what I learned? Here on the East Coast. See, I learned something. Because I don't want to see no kids walking around with no grown man. That's even though we have a stupid law here, because y'all know I've been telling y'all for years, if you're 16 in Pennsylvania, you can date whoever you want to date. Because it's your consent. But it's this oh. law, it's this law that, um, which, what you call it, uh, uh, cor corruption or um, basically like statutory rape. Anybody over the age of 18 having sex with someone it's under 18 is corrupting them more than a minor yeah. and it's still considered statutory rape. So it was like, why do you have this law if right. you have something that supersedes that law? Right. 
So I don't know what, what's going on in California and how they do it, but or maybe nobody just don't give a fuck. But something like that's just not right. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let see. I, I think they live in that world where we can do any anything mm -hmm. the fuck we want. And I love the Kardashians. I really do. Y'all know I love. Y'all better right leave Amber right. alone. Right is right and right is and wrong is wrong. And the Amber's from South Philly, and them girls don't play down there. <laughs> Even us from Philly know not to mess with them down there. No, we don't. No, we don't. Cause South Philly's crazy. I don't love the rules, but I don't live down there. I don't even. I don't have nothing in common with South Philly. There you go. South Philly in common with South Philly. You want to come down here? Where? Attack? I'll think about it. Y'all can't have nothing a little further up from Tasker and all that. No, I don't want to go to the game. No, no. Okay, no. Amber said, "Bitch, I am not afraid of you, you, or you." And then she was using them Kanye pictures, and I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah. She ain't never, I'm like, no, I don't think that was really her. The one that Amber Rose picture? Oh, you got Because the, the other her. Amber Rose is, the real Amber Rose is the real Amber Rose, but that one who was using those kind of pictures, that name was just Amber Rose. Oh. Yeah, the okay. real Amber Rose is the real Amber Rose. Okay. But listen, it's just crazy. Um, she I don't want to involve Kanye. Yeah, she ain't want to involve Kanye. Even in that yeah. interview, like she didn't say anything bad. She about didn't want to. She didn't want to involve Kim either. But Chloe board. Yeah. Board, but Chloe came to so her. Since so you bitch, you it up. Yeah. Since you won't come at me, I'm gonna come at your other sister, bitch. Okay. Because I didn't really come at your younger sister. I was just saying she's too young to be messing with that and then, man. And let me tell you how Chris Jenner worked. Because I know that bitch. I know she's doing something. Wiz Khalifa followed Chloe, and then Reggie Bush followed um, Amber Rose. And then he tweeted out some kind of face. There's just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Messing this. Just messing. But what's her name? Chris Jenner knows how to orchestrate a lot of stuff. She's going to spin this somehow. Shit, that might just become a show with Amber and Chloe or something. Something is going to go down. She's making something work behind the scenes. Just watch. Because Chloe, I mean, Chris Jenner is a woman about her motherfucking money. And she's going to find a way to spend all of this that happened just from one thing to that. And um, yeah, so I'm done with that situation. Um, before we get out of here, though, Ray J, you, let's see, right now, if a man, because when Rihanna and Chris Brown with you that damn, Chris Brown with that ass, we all saying Rihanna got to go. Rihanna, you need to go. Ray J, <laughs> okay, let me tell you what he did. Yeah, so they was in New Orleans or whatever, in the hotel. I don't know what happened. I don't know who drank something, who popped the pill, bitch. But his girlfriend, Princess Love, tore his ACL and his leg, which means he's gonna be, he's gonna have to learn how to walk and go through it. Mm. months of therapy and be on crutches, cause you tear them that, baby. How you did you ain't gonna never walk? Are we right. sure she did that? She, but look, that's what they said. She did that. She broke a couple of his ribs mm. and she just fucked them up. Then she got locked up and then he paid her bail for $10,000. He built her out of jail. Now, I mean, I love love and everything, but not that much, bitch. Not that much. And I want to know where was Brandy at and what she's going to do about it. Well, Brandy don't have nothing to do with Brandy and Princess. Not a man hurt your sister. Yeah, that's, yeah, but at the, yeah, you were, hey. So you mean, you right. Okay. You right. Yeah. But Kate, point taken. Point taken. Shut up, Kate. Brandy, Brandy need to, you know, listen, because this, this can't keep going on. Now, I don't know how many times Brandy done probably had that talk. Now, do you think this is going to be blown up like Chris Brown and Rihanna was blown up? Hell no, because we're talking about Ray J and Princess Love. But see, if, what you call him, lost his job? Princess who? Princess, Princess Love. Yeah. <laughs> if, Princess if, Princess. If, what's his name, Young Bird lost his job, Princess Love going to lose her job too, right? She should. Right, Mona? I call him the thing a thing, a spade a spade. It's just not right. Nobody should be getting beat up like that in any kind of relationship. Now, I know girls like to hit, but goddamn, what were you on to break ribs? Or who did you get in that room to attack Ray J? I can't picture no woman doing all of that. Did she hit him with a bat? What did you yeah. do to tear his leg? Unless she his got leg him he muscle. Down. That's a big muscle. Listen, unless she got him while he was laying down. Because you know some women like to get you. Yeah, that's sleep. what that's Barbara thing right there. Yeah, get you I might sleep. not get you standing up, but, but I'll, I'll get, get you, you laying down. down. <laughs> that's the old school way. 
was we all had an out of it, and I'm she sure we all it. had at least one ass whooping that we <laughs> got while we was laying down court oh, off guard. No. Court off guard. Oh no, your teacher called today, right? And yeah. I told you I was gonna get you, right? <laughs> yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you I was gonna whoop your ass the next time she called. Right out the shower. <laughs> now that's how you do. Now I never had an ass whooping like that. Oh, you don't want that. You don't want that. Forget. You already wet. Yeah, I never forget that day. Woo. My dad whooped my ass, and he <laughs> caught on to the fact that I had on two pair of pants. <laughs> No, you have on two pair of pants. Take both of them off. You can take both of them off. Really, jazz now. I had a long johns and two pair of pants. He whipped me with just the long johns on, and you know how they already <laughs> stick to your skin. I never did that again. Oh my goodness! Those are ass whooping. Those yes. are the days. I don't miss those days. Yeah, those. Well, I don't miss those moments. Yeah, see, let me tell you something. I was watching the View today. Um, cause you know Michelle was on there again. I'm trying so. to figure out when they're gonna hire her. I don't know, but at least they have. To, yeah. you know, we need to find out. Um, so you know they were talking about the show called The Slap, where oh, yeah. a family member, you know, slapped slapped another child. I I want to watch it cause it's a it's a mini series on NBC. It comes on once a week or whatever. But you know Michelle was like, sometimes you got you, know, you want to slap somebody's child, but then the, then that Matthew you knows school of trying to kick that. I mean, I'm just. You know, mm -hmm. she changed it real fast. Mm -hmm. But I knew what you meant, Michelle. Yeah. Some is it okay to slap somebody else's child? No. Not, not slap in the face. No, it's not okay. It's not necessarily okay to slap somebody else's child. Not in the now, face. as much as I like, as much as I think somebody should get their ass for. No, I don't think it's okay to smack somebody's child in the face or anywhere because of the fact that unless the parent gives you permission, permission. Okay. but if the parent don't give you permission, then no, don't do that. Just like I feel about the whole hair situation at the school. If my parents didn't, if you didn't give you, if I didn't give you permission to do my child's hair, don't do it. If I didn't give you permission to slap my child, don't do it. Because then that's going to make me feel some type of way knowing that my child came home and said somebody smacked them. Because if my mind is not in that place of what you do, my mind's going to be in that place. Who the fuck? I saw a vid. See, it's just, I saw a video on Worldstar. I will never forget this video as long as I live. And this was from a few years ago because I was still working at Hub. And I tried to find this video like a few months ago. This, these two, these, these people were in their window. And these two kids were fighting. They were little boys. They weren't little, little boys, but they was like in their early teens, like 12, 13, something like that. And they were fighting. Well, the fight was already over by the time the, the person started recording from their window. Well, one of the little boy's mom came out to break up the fight, and as she broke up the fight, she, she hit jumped. the other little mm -hmm. boy. She ain't jumping; she just I hit think her. I seen that. Well, this the is one little boy, yeah, it was a long time ago, where the one little boy went down the street and got his mom. His mom walked back down the street. The lady who smacked her son was in the house, so she came out the house, and the lady was like, you know, you, my son told me that he was fighting your son, and, you know, you smacked him in the process of trying to break it up. She was like, you know, this, that, and the third. Like, I don't mind you breaking up a fight, but don't smack my child. So the lady's trying to defend herself. Mind you, all the lady got on is like a house coat. All of a sudden, the mom went, bam, in that lady's face. And then I can't really, I can't remember if they actually started fighting or if that mom just started whipping her ass. But what I do remember is that house coat came off that woman. Okay, mm -hmm. and the mom fucked her up and told her, "Don't you ever put your hands on my son again." And she kindly walked down down the street. Now the person who was recording it was in the house directly across from him, so he's still recording everything that's going on. So the lady goes back in the house and she on the phone with somebody, not the cops, but I'm assuming it was her husband because she's like, "Yeah, she lived down the street, that's in third. And then like a few minutes later, the husband pulls up and he gets out the car and he's trying to figure out what the fuck's going on this that and the third. And then that's when the boy cut off the camera. But that just goes to show you, don't hit nobody's child. Because if they go home and tell their mom and their mom come walking down that street, best believe their mom ain't coming down that street to talk to you. Their mom coming down that street to fight you. This, okay? ain't, the, this ain't the 50s and 60s. No, 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 no. It's time to No, I'll check. never forget that day. This this boy, it was a long time ago. This boy got in my face. Um, we lived on 100 and he got on my face on the next 100. And I'll never forget that day. His mom came off the porch and like he got in my face like he was going to hit me. And I remember his mom grabbed him and told me I should let him smack the shit out of you. So I went home and got my mom and dad. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Marcy couldn't get to that lady's house quick enough. And you know my father, he was he was mad. But my mom couldn't get there quick enough. Because once she heard that a woman had said that to me, she went, I mean, she was all up on that. Because the lady wouldn't come off the porch. It was a white lady. 
She wouldn't come off the porch, and I guess she, I guess she probably thought that I wasn't going to go home and tell my mom. She wouldn't come off the porch, and my mom was all up on the steps, like, you bitch, this, that, and the third. And my dad, my dad's trying to get my mom down from the steps, but at the same time, he's cursing the lady out, too. Like, bitch, don't you ever say that to my son. Like, who the fuck do you think you are, this, that, and the third? Well, let me tell you something, honey, that lady ain't never say nothing to me, ever. Again, but I'll never forget that day. She told me to my face, I should let him smack the shit out you. Mm. And I, and mind you, I, I was young, and I went back and took... <laughs> well, see, my mom was one of them, I will fuck you up and take you to your mother and tell her I did it. Mom, so you know ain't nobody knock what my yeah. mom doing. Yeah, but sometimes you just can't hit other people's feelings. I know, but, but, but back in the... Barbara is old school. Yeah, she is. She's old school. I'm just... We talking about today. I know. We talking about in today. today's world, that today won't work. You can't hear, no, you can't, because somebody will come there and with a gun in their hand. <laughs> yes. And then you won't have a mother or father, because mm -hmm. they'll shoot your house up. Yeah, they, you can't. You just, yeah, you just can't. can't. So if the kids want to fight, let them fight. But don't let nobody, okay, don't jump in the fight. No, don't jump And in. don't let your kids run from the... See, y'all got to learn how to lock that door if you got one of them children that keep running in the house from somebody. You lock their asses out and say, you got to whip that ass. And if you don't whip that ass, I'm going to beat your ass after the fight. You know, you got to toughen them up. All that running and stuff. Uh-uh, no. I, I don't go for that stuff. You know, so anyway, I wouldn't really talk about the housewives, but no. Yeah. No. It's, you know what? Housewives, y'all losing your spark. Because mm -hmm. not one time did anybody say, talk about the housewives, talk about the housewives, talk about the <laughs> But I had, everybody want to talk about Mother Rosebud versus Kim Kardashian's sister. So I wasn't going there. But I just think that the scene with... Phaedra and Apollo, I think it was fake. I, I already, my thing is this, Phaedra already knew what she was dealing with. I told her that yesterday on Twitter. So she's acting all scared and stuff now, but she wasn't scared before. And then something somebody said that um, on Twitter that really made a lot of sense. Phaedra is dealing with a lot of dead bodies, you know, since she wanted to do the funeral home and stuff. Don't think that Apollo wasn't probably using some of the social security numbers from the people to help get that money. So I'm like, damn, bitch, you good. Ooh, that was a good dig up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And how was he getting access to it? Yeah, so like, it's something deeper than what's going on. Because she, Phaedra knew. Phaedra already fucking knew. She knew. And Cynthia, girl, not Cynthia, Claudia, you can't cry about somebody not being your friend and then want to read them in yes. confessions and shit. Make up your motherfucking yes. mind. What is it that you want, what, what you want to do? But what got me was when she didn't know why they was holding hands when they started crying. Yes, you know what, that's that's <laughs> how she was brought up. And I, what the, um, what the, what I said, wait, that? did she really, she said, why are we holding hands? Wait, did she really say, yeah, well, maybe. maybe where she comes from. I thought, I thought, something. I thought holding hands when you pray was a universal thing, didn't matter. <laughs> Hey, I could be wrong. I could be ignorant to it, but I thought it was a universal thing. I thought everybody joined hands mm -hmm. when it came time to pray. to pray. I just thought that was what it was, but I guess some religions don't do it. I mean, that's okay if I don't do it, if, if every religion don't do it. But I guess I'm ignorant to the fact because I thought every religion did. I just mm -hmm. thought it was something that everybody did. It was Especially when you come together, mm. you know, everybody may not do it in church all the time, but when you come together in a small setting like that, I thought everybody did come together and hold hands. Mm -hmm. But hey. Yeah, and Petra, I'm, I'm I'm just sick of your shit. Like, you let Apollo tell you something, and you went off and told your wife. Who then told Kim. Then told Kim. <laughs> and oh. then try to use it as ammo. I probably got her ass whipped. I can't wait <laughs> the next minute. She told her at that table. <laughs> yeah, all like people. she was there. And no one's there. It's and not I, the truth. And I finally saw when Vivica got her together. That yes. phone. She took that phone, Kevin. And tweeted that. I know. And then had the nerve to bring it up. And it was like, but well, how did you, why would you even bring something like that up? She told on herself. She told on herself. She told on herself. She she, she she thought she was being a mastermind and then was on a mastermind all the time. Dumbass. And they let it go. And, and Don Jr. said, well, let me go see. Yeah. Well, Vivica, like, I remember. Say. Well, she said, well, Vivica, you did say it. <laughs> then he started, then the will started turning to his head. Well, Kenya, it doesn't make sense because her last two tweets was about her being happy. <laughs> Now she's talking about Minipa? Yeah, and she, and she doesn't tweet every day. <laughs> and she don't tweet every day. <laughs> they got things together. Can't get told on herself. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. it's time to go because it's yes. eight. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, but like I told y'all, my two faves, Geraldo and Lisa Gibbons, they're going to win. Them. I think Lisa's going to win. He might give it to Lisa because Geraldo's a little bit, you know, too mm -hmm. sharp. Donald Trump was kissing both their asses, though. Mm hmm. But Lisa, Lisa's too nice for you to even be too mean to her. Yeah, she is. So, so yeah, so we're going to get up out of here. We will see y'all 
this week for the match made in heaven, and then we will see y'all for a, a new video. And um, y'all be good. Keep us posted on what's going on for, for the next video. We'll talk to y'all later. Peace.